so-called English expert, a fellow named John Leather, which said, uh, what a ridiculous idea that anybody in America could actually measure from a small model with uh, sufficient precision that he could build a full-size boat from it. Well, Chris McMullen was uh, enraged by this um, uh, article, and uh, he, not I, he wrote to the author and told him how wrong he was and how well he'd made out using the offsets. There are a lot of subtleties to this uh, device. For example, you'll notice that there isn't a sharp point, because if you had a sharp point here, you'd dig a hole in the model. What there is, is a square there. And the interesting thing about that is you use one of the four corners according to the situation. If you're doing the bow of the boat, where the slope is coming down here, you use the back corner. That is the further away uh, corner at that end, that uh, you might say the northeast corner. If you're doing the stern of the boat where the shape's coming down there, you use this corner, this here, which you might call the uh, northwest corner. And yes, there are two scribe marks here so that you can correct for the fact that uh, you're using one or the other corner. Then if there was tumble home on the boat, where in the offset a deck edge is less than it is uh, some of the way down, you can use these back corners. And yes, there's a constant dimension of this block where you can correct the reading here, and uh, you can get the exact point for that as well. And there are other uh, consequences. I'm going to show you a short uh, video that uh, Halsey made of us uh, measuring an S-boat. And you'll see that we always go in one direction with the apparatus, because any, any kind of gearing, whether it's in an engine or an instrument, has a certain amount of um, slack between the teeth of the, the gear and the pinion, and that's true of this. But if you always go in the same direction, that um, situation is constant, and you don't have any error from it. So it's those things that make this work so well, and the tolerance for a typical boat when multiplied to full size is in the order of uh, uh, somewhere between a sixteenth of an inch and an eighth of an inch. And uh, as a consequence, the company never made the traditional lines drawings. Uh, these figures of the uh, various section heights and offsets went into a little book. And after Captain Nat had read them, he would simply take the book to the shop and for a modest sized boat, uh, very often the men could lay out the um, full size sections in one or two days and immediately build molds. They made a mold for every single frame. And by the end of the week, they'd have them all set up and be steam bending the frames. And oftentimes, they could be planking a boat uh, within about a week of when Captain Nat had given them the offsets. One of the facets of the company is that not only did they produce a wonderful product, but they built the boats extraordinarily quickly. The cup defenders were often built in not much more than 90 days, and a boat like a New York 50 could be built in six or seven weeks. Well, now I want to show you a little bit more of what this is. This is a close-up of uh, the way in which we are intersecting that hull and uh, uh, reading it. Oh, by the way, you may be interested in what this device here is. Can anybody tell me what this is for? This is a block of wood with an ordinary pencil with a, uh, a flat edge on it. What, what do you think that's for? Well, one of the things difficult to do in a model like uh, this one is to draw the water line, because how, how do you decide where it is and everything? So what we do is we clamp this model to a vertical piece of glass, which is very precise, and then uh, be sure that you've leveled the, leveled the model up and then uh, this device that I've just uh, called attention to in this light work, there it is, uh, you just slide around and this perfectly marks in the water line in one plane. Simple, quick, accurate. How would you know how to do with the water? Which is the Well, he'd, he'd calculated the um, uh, volume, which then enables you to know the weight of the water displaced. So that gives you the buoyancy. And he also calculated the centers, 
of, of that buoyancy um, by uh, a method of integrating these different sections fore and aft. And he would have, previous to that, made an estimate of the weights. And possibly at the point when the model's done, he would modify that somewhat to um, uh, allow the weights to fit with what he built in the, in the case of the model. And uh, he got so he used very little outside, uh, very little inside ballast, and uh, the boats generally floated just about the way they're supposed to. Maggie showed me how to bring this film up, and I think I've got to try to do it right here. This is a short film that uh, Halsey uh, uh, Fulton took not long ago with his company, uh, which is given in the heading of this set of pictures. So here we are in the model room. I have. Uh, Wilkes helping me transcribe the numbers. Wilkes, I see you're here. And I had Adam Langham helping me. He's not here because he's down moving our boat to Florida. But here you see the um, instrument being moved and you see the intersection of the uh, point. And these are the way in which the numbers were put down. And I'm explaining for the video some of the things that happen here, uh, much as I've explained them to you. And you'd be amazed how quick this process can go um, intersect, read the numbers, uh, somebody else writing his, Adam Langeman, uh, also using it. He knows how to do it as well as I do. And uh, you see how easy it is to read. These numbers are read in feet, inches, and eighths. And what we do today is uh, we put the numbers into the computer, which converts them to uh, decimal feet, and then we draw a picture from that. And uh, if there's any dent in the picture, we come back and remeasure it and correct the dent very quickly. And you can see how easy it is just to go to a set height and then uh, come down into set the hull and measure the offset, which I'm, I'm pointing to there. And you see uh, I went in one direction against a stop so that we're dealing with uh, even units of, uh, of uh, model uh, inches. It's interesting that intellectually, this is somewhat akin to the process of uh, design normally used today where they use computers. Because by designing in a computer, you can get an image of a model and you can turn it around and look at it, and uh, much as Captain Nat could with the actual model. Now, I think that in comparing those two methods, Captain Nat's physical model and the computer guy's uh, uh, pictorial model, you'd have to admit that probably Captain Nat had a better way to visualize the hull than the computer guy. But on the other side, the computer guy has a big advantage over Captain Nat because he can get his calculations of uh, weight and center instantly.